Hi guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. You're watching Happiness a Lifestyle and I'm Hema. Uh, and today I'll be doing, all I did, I actually did a lip, lip swatch video just um, five minutes before. So all I did was just change my top. Uh, so you are seeing the same makeup, uh, same hair, same everything because I just, um, you know, wanted to finish these two videos today. So I just changed my top so that you don't see me in the same top again. Um, let me uh, zoom out a little bit. Okay, so uh, to, so today I'll be doing the, where is my lipstick? Okay, here. Uh, this is something I got at, uh, when Ulta had um, their, uh, their 21 deals now recently. Uh, so that time they had the tar Tartist lip paints for $10. So I got two of them. I have two of them here. Uh, and uh, one of my friend had one of this and it looked really like very nice on her so that's why I, I went and I got this um, so a couple of my friends actually like this formula but I should say that I am not really liking this formula I may uh, return this I'm trying to think because $10 $10 $20 I can go buy a Kat Von D or Stila or something you know so something that I love so I'm not really crazy about these um, but they are not too bad but we will rate them right now so the one uh, the video I did before this was the NARS um, uh, the NARS power matte uh, power matte pigments uh, the hot reds that I had so I did that and I'm still feeling it on my lips like you know the dryness so they feel very dry so that's the big drawback on them that i didn't like them um, but this one and also keep in mind that i have very dry lips and second one whether it's a lipstick or a, even a creamy lipstick or a matte lipstick anything i never put anything on my lips without my chapstick so right now also i have my chapstick on so i don't put anything um, without the chapstick so that's that's another thing uh, and so when I am very picky when it comes to the liquid lipsticks because I want that matte look they should not transfer and because I touch my uh, face a lot so if I see anything like that I won't like it and I need to feel comfortable the most important thing is I need to feel comfortable the lips need to feel comfortable and I don't like that crumbling and you know when it settles down inside the uh, lip lines because I have a lot of like lip lines um, so so that's the main thing main thing for me is these lip lines every liquid lipstick does not cover that so for me I'm really picky about you know which ones actually will cover all my lines and still make it look nice and plump and not like drying so that's what I'm looking for when I'm looking for in a liquid lipstick so I just wanted you to know because you have to know what I am liking or what I am looking for because then my rating would actually make sense like for you too to say that okay if she liked it because of these reasons then I may like it or not and you know things like that. So let's get on with the with the swatches and then I'm going to talk about them. Uh, so first actually let me uh, swatch both of them and then I will talk about uh, about them so first one I have here and if you see I think there are different different the formulas are a little bit different I feel because you see both of them I have two colors here one is XOXO and the other one is obsessed and both of them if you see on them although in the swatches and all everybody are showing it as one right but I feel like there is slight difference in the formula too this one says tartist um, lip paint okay and this one says tartist uh, quick dry matte lip paint so maybe they came with this first because I do remember uh, in one of the minis uh, you know like at I don't remember at Sephora at, uh, or Alta I had got the small mini one the tartist one and that was a completely different formula that was like a I think it was the creamy yeah the creamy uh, tartist one tartist liquid lipstick 
I don't like that formula at all because when you apply it on your lips, I should have got it right now to show that. But when I put that on my lips, it's kind of that uh, the moussey texture. It has a very moussey structure. Uh, texture. So when you apply it, it after some time, as soon as it dries, it gives that matte look but that powder look so it emphasizes all the lines on my lips so i hated that formula so that's a mini that i have i don't like that formula at all so that's why i was a little skeptical to buy these but since they were like for ten dollar you know half price i thought okay i'm, I'm going to give that a try i would say for ten dollar it's worth it but they are not worth for the price they are i think 21 dollar right now they are not worth that price at all so let me show you the first one now the xoxo i'm going to try the xoxo and but you know what i really love these colors this is the thing they come up with so nice colors but then they i won't like it so that's the problem i won't like the formula so this is xoxo this is how it looks it's a beautiful uh, red but it has little bit of the brown in it so that's why i liked it because it's a re like really a different color and the applicator is pretty much actually the packaging and everything i feel is so much like the ofra liquid lipsticks yeah the packaging is all pretty much like that kind of that plasticky pack and uh, you know the doe foot also looks so much like like that so it's just like the um oh my god i see it i see a dove right there no it's not a dove i think it's a uh, pigeon i guess okay so the color is so beautiful so the packaging is lot like ofra to me or nyx the nyx soft matte lip creams also the pack looks kind of like that so the texture of this is very it's moussey te texture the uh, what is that the consistency is very moussey now oh my god i love this color this is so beautiful color if i had to key, keep a one i probably will keep this just because of the color nothing else Like it's a beautiful color it's a little different um, than my uh, other reds that I have and that's only reason I like this color it's such a nice color look at that color it's beautiful color I always forget to do this I always see all the girls on YouTube after doing the swatches they do this and it does help because it does help to see the color here and color here so so that is uh exo exo it's a beautiful kind of burnt red um so now if you saw my other video on the nars you saw that you couldn't see the lip line like settling and all that right but with this you can see a little bit but not bad so, so I like the color very much. Now, for the, I have my book here that I'm giving points and I'm being professional right now. So, uh, for the NARS, I'd given 6.5 and the 0.5 was because of that ring hole. It gives, it makes a slight ring hole, but then you can reapply and it'll be fine. So, so it was fine. So I gave a 0.5, point, 0.5 for that ring hole thingy. So it became 6.5. So six things that were good about it and that 0.5. So that was 6.5 for that. Now let's rate this one. Now this one, I feel that it is, it looks good, but it gives that ring hole there, there pretty fast because I tried this the other day. I just had tea. That's all. Okay. I just had tea. And then, you know, I went in and I saw that the, in the mirror that I already see a little that white because when I, for me, the main thing is when I smile, right? I don't want to see that line there inside, the inside line. So 
I saw that in this. Just after having T. So that's one drawback of this. So that's the ring hole. So there it loses one point already. And then it dries matte. Yes, it dries matte for sure. And I don't see it like I even if I'm like I didn't see it like spreading around or something because I wore this whole day once. Uh, actually, I wore it twice because I wore this color one day and then the other one also the other day. So it didn't like go everywhere or nothing like that. So it looks nice and dry. It looks dry and it feels the comfort also I'm going to give it because it's not that bad. I can feel like I have a little bit something on my lip kind of. Mm, yeah kind of like okay I have it on my teeth so kind of like the Ofra I feel a little bit but it's not tacky like that so if you see that like that yeah you don't feel that much tacky but I can feel it that it's there not like the NYX soft matte lip creams you don't feel them at all but this I can feel slightly not too much though but I think that feeling probably is because of my old uh, other lipsticks that I tried maybe that is still acting on my lips maybe that's why I'm feeling it because other day when I tried, tried did put this on I felt comfortable so the comfort level is there but the what is the comfort level I'm giving the point for the comfort level and I don't really see bleeding and all so that is also good transfer also it doesn't transfer anywhere like you know on the clothes or anywhere like that so that is okay and then I am going to do this, the, the test here after a few seconds after I finish my review and then the lasting power now the lasting power it does last but the thing is it goes off inside right so when it goes off inside um, like you know the other day when it like went off uh, it was all gone inside here I had to I tried to put a little chapstick and then rub it in and you know make it look better um, but then you start losing the color there right and this ones they don't stain your lip like that so um, at least not with this color I didn't see any staining so because of maybe because of that reason it really looks white there if it goes off it look like that white so when you smile you'll see that one line there so for that is the only thing it's going to lose points in actually and then reapplying it loses points there so what I did since that dabbing of that uh, chapstick would make it lighter I tried to reapply it went fine I could reapply but it made it feel so drying when like after some time I felt more drying and then when I took the lipstick off then you feel like your whole um, it leaves your lips very dry and chapped so that's the thing again that it loses point on so based on uh, and the smell I don't I don't feel any smell yeah this has the same uh, slight chemically smell like the Nars ones so uh, not too much like the even the NYX ones have the same smell I think the NYX, um, NYX soft matte has the same smell so the smell you can't really smell anything so that's fine the smell is fine and uh, crumbly and cakey uh, I would not say crumbly it doesn't really crumble or anything yeah but after some time when it gets a dry here you can start feeling that pull in your lip a little bit so that dry feeling comes up after like two hours like that you start feeling that dryness um, maybe it starts it's keeps on pulling the uh, moisture from your lip and after some time you feel it like after two hours like that you don't feel it like you don't feel it like right after not like color pop color pop is like too drying on me so even if I put like um, Carmax and then put the color pop it'll still be drying on me so for all that I would rate this I don't like that whole thing so if the whole thing is very important for you then this will go below the NARS uh, but if the transferring and not transferring and the matte look and the, the color being there all that is important for you then I would rate this above the NARS so they kind of go hand in hand more comfortable I feel on the lips than the NARS so I would probably give this a 7 yeah I will give this a 7 uh, so this is 
obsessed and this is a beautiful color again both of these i got them just for the color these colors are like my favorite kind of colors so let's apply this and look at that so that's it's kind of like a like a mauvey color a mauvey and then it has a purple in it so i love that and it looks light but when it dries down it looks darker it looks more purple then so i feel like because even though this these show more of the lines on my lip than the nars i would prefer these over the nars for sure the nars to me feel very uncomfortable even though they are that thin consistency so you just one swipe and i cover it all but you can also um go again but the thin layer is always good so that it doesn't crack or crumble you apply you feel it little bit um i'm wearing a pyjama underneath here <laughs> so you might have seen a hint of the pyjama here only my top is changing but my underneath i have my pyjama so this one um i do love this color but see i like when when it's drying i felt you feel a little bit tackiness before it dries but once it dries it's fine this dries much better than this because the xoxo if you see on it it's written lip paint on this it's written quick dry matte lip paint so i so there's just the wording difference here i don't know um you know they sell them both as matte lip paint that's it but uh, i see that there is little difference and there is a difference in the drying time now this it's already i feel like it's dried so so i was wrong in telling that actually more than the more than this exo exo i think this quick dry lip paint yeah this feels much more comfortable on the lip as soon as it dries you don't feel the tack tackiness right so it feels much more um comfortable like you like it feels like you don't have anything on now so i feel like that like i don't have anything on it feels like that the exo exo didn't feel like that but because of that reason also it gives that ring very fast underneath there so again just for that reason i would think that these would be a no for me um i like these slightly slightly better than the nars slightly and that is because of the comfort factor i would keep this slightly up but because of that ring factor i would keep maybe nars slightly up so it depends on what you want so but they are not too bad but just that if they are like from the 21 to 24 dollar i expect much more from it which i didn't feel like i got it with the tart or the nars um so uh, because i always compare these with the uh with the stila dose of colors and atomic makeup those are the ones i really love um and i have always used uh total makeup junkie and stephanie nicole's reviews as like my bible to go buy stuff because i have seen over time what they like and what they don't like and which is so much similar to what i would want in a liquid lipstick so i really love them they i mean i i love their reviews a lot like stephanie neko nicole and total makeup junkie 101 ishani they have not disappointed me at all because everything they say they like when i go and buy it i like that so so my top also have been like like that so i'm like going according to them now next one i want to buy is the cat wandy so i have one uh, but i can't judge really uh, based on that because it's a mini one that i have mother so i'm trying to get more so thank you so much guys for watching um and uh, if you like my re reviews uh, if you like these kind of videos please give a thumbs up to this please like this video and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notifications uh, whenever i upload and i've been trying to upload almost a video every day 
now um so uh, thank you so much for watching bye take care